Consider a hard disk with four surfaces, 64 tracks per surface, 128 sectors per track, and 256 bytes per sector. The disk rotates at 3600 RPM. What is the capacity of the hard disk and what is the data transfer rate? So our hard disk is consisting of four surfaces and each surface is having 64 tracks and there are 128 sectors on each track and 256 bytes in each sector. So our capacity would be considering the surfaces, the number of tracks per surface, number of sectors per track and multiplied by the number of bytes per sector. So if we multiply four surfaces into 64 tracks per surface, 128 sectors per track, 256 bytes, so this, to multiply this and get the answer in megabytes or gigabytes, we will first convert these into powers of 2. So 4 becomes 2 to the power of 2, 2 to the power of 6, 2 to the power of 7 and 2 to the power of 8, which gives us 2 to the power of 23. If we break this up, this is 2 to the power of 3 into 2 to the power of 20. This we can consider for mega and this is 8. So this gives us 8 megabytes. The next part of the question was related to the data transfer rate. So let's find out what is going to be our data transfer rate. So the data that can be transferred in one rotation, that means how much data will be transferred from one track because one rotation would be reading from one track from one surface but across all surfaces each of these heads will be reading data from that particular cylinder. So let's say if this particular track is being transferred, so then the track at this distance on all surfaces will be read. So actually in one rotation, the data is being transferred from a cylinder. So let's talk about one, tra one track first. So in one track, the data that is transferred is the number of sectors per track into bytes per sector which is 128 into 256 bytes. So this much of data will be transferred from one track in one rotation. The speed of the hard disk is given as 3600 rpm that means 3600 rotations in one minute which is 60 seconds. That means one rotation takes 60 upon 3600 seconds which is 1 upon 60 seconds. So in 160, 128 into 256 byte is transferred from one surface, from one track of one surface. So in one second, how much bytes will be transferred from one track or one surface? This will be 128 into 256 divided by 1 upon 60. So this becomes 128 into 256 into 60 bytes transferred from one surface. And it is given in the question that there are four surfaces. So in one rotation, data is being read by these read-write heads from all surfaces. So 128 into 256 into 60 into four bytes transferred, which is seven approximately 7.8 megabytes. So 7.8 megabytes is transferred in one second and this is our data transfer rate 7.8 megabytes per second.